What's up? What's up? All right. Today is a big day because we are heading to our very first competition. And as you can see, we're loaded down to the gills. Got the big copper machine ready to roll. And man, let me tell you, I've been down and out with COVID a week ago. Still don't feel the best, but I'm COVID free for the moment. But here is what I'm dealing with today. Yeah, them are my best friends. I'm gonna stay on that Pedialyte like an athlete trying to recover from a hangover, baby. Look at here, look at here, what we done ran into. Man, what we got ourselves into here. We're getting set up. Shiner truck, cooking with Cajun, out here in the dark. That's usually when we get the best work done anyway, uh, I'm ain't it? I'm telling you, late night, baby. Ooh. Nice little Airbnb. I like the ceiling tile. Hey, you can't complain for a little Airbnb. Okay. Got that Reese cup finna smash that. I'm finna go check it out. Oh my God! You got a big backyard? Oh, look at the backyard, boy. It's all nation back there, baby. Look at the sink. That is so cool. It is all nation back there. It's Anyway, it's on tomorrow. We're going to get up by 6 in the morning. Cajun going to pick me up. We're getting over there, and we're getting to it. Holla at you. All right, everybody. It's like 5.30 in the morning, and it's game time. So put my chair that waits out here. What's going on? Hey. Come to win, not just to play, baby. World Championship Squirrel Cookoff, <laughs> Springdale, oh, Arkansas. Big Dang, Chuck. Quit school because of recess. Quit school because of recess. Yeah, yeah, Big Chuck, Amber Berlin, cooking with Cajun. It's going down. Uh, the biggest iced coffee with caramel and oat milk. All right, no, need, no the, classic. I need the biggest iced coffee with caramel and oat milk. No classic. No what? No classic. No classic. Whatever that means. A two size coffee with caramel and you said oat milk? Yes ma'am. Okay, what else for you? That's it. I have a total of the How the hell? <laughs> and you can't even It's called a sub. <laughs> It's called a venti. <clears throat> it's something. I don't know. I know it's good, though. I can tell you. We get in coffee at Starbucks. This is probably the most expensive damn meal this truck's ever got to drive through. <laughs> <laughs> you need that 
cup or whatever it is, the damn, when you get oatmeal. <laughs> got oatmeal in my coffee. I swear at first I thought you said oatmeal. <laughs> I was like, man, it's gonna be thick as hell. <laughs> and somebody don't come with a cup, I mean a straw? Nah, a little sipper, boy. Then we gotta go down that road, turn by the case. Hell, I'm way the hell off. I'm like two miles. He got it, folks. He got it. We got it, man. We got it. Shit, we've been here once. I mean, it was about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. And I was going the other damn way and everything's ass back with nothing. <laughs> we just left all of our personal belongings out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We are going to do a jambalaya with squirrel meat in it. And we got lucky, man. We found a, I found a little old sack just full of just little old baby squirrels in it, just tenderonies. Oh man, and that, that's that's always the keepers. And I, I knew I had them put back somewhere. I just didn't know exactly where. And we got them now. We're gonna put that fire that smoker up and start putting some smoke on some stuff. Get some smoky flavor in that jambalaya. Cage is gonna do what he always does with it. Put that that down south Louisiana flavor base into it. Amber's gonna come through and make some mac and cheese, make you drop to your knees. Oh, brother, mac and cheese is gonna be off the chart. We've been bullshitting around. Oh, outlaw, baby. Arkansas outlaw. I even brought my old faded out liberties for y'all on this one, boy. These work overalls because we came to do work. competition right now I've got a guy who's gonna walk around he's gonna do the meat inspection meat inspection is solely that we know you don't have any contraband meat inside of these coolers all right so if your meat has been marinated in anything other than salt brine you better find some new squirrel okay if your squirrel is chopped diced minced you better find some new squirrel so you all know the rules it's whole quartered or half and that squirrel needs to be cold whenever he comes by and inspects it so it's safe for everybody to eat, for our judges and for the public. 80% of the meat inside your box needs to be squirrel. So that allows for 20% other, and other could be what other you want in there, but 80% of the meat. Keep in mind that's not 80% of your dish, okay? It's 80% of the meat, so that, that kind of helps. One of the things that teams typically screw up on is your side dish. If you don't have some form of squirrel, whether it be whole squirrel meat, broth, whatever it is, squirrel skin crackling, okay? If you don't have a little bit of squirrel inside of your side dish, I hate to tell you, but you damn, you lost. Uh, another thing, you're turning in for six judges, only six judges. Okay, each one of those boxes that you turn in will have your entree and your side dish. If you decide to put anything else in the box other than your entree and your side dish, clearly have on your card or written on the inside of the lid what your entree is, what your side dish is. If you decide to put something cool in there because you really want to, just call it garnish, okay? 
So if you were to put a Bloody Mary inside there, or some moonshine, or whatever, peppermint patty, just right on there, it's, it's, it's garnish. First team up, Big Chuck and the smoke and shine with cooking with Cajun over here. So y'all draw first. Don't look in that bag, Chuck. Just good luck. Just good luck. What number you got? What we get, Cajun? 25. Number 25. Look at here. We already getting it going. Got an old squirrels, boy. Mm-hmm. Cajun, I want you to know something about them squirrels. A few of those came out of the bottoms, but about half of those came out of a backyard down here in Oklahoma, Arkansas. Hey, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Sweet little pet squirrels. Got them little babies. All of them little tender grays. Out of Oklahoma, Arkansas. We finna win with these things, baby. Oh Lord, what we got going on here? Man, we're quartering up some squirrel, uh, some rabbit. Some old and, hop around, uh, boy, that's yeah. my favorite. I'm gonna tell you, it don't get no better than a back strap of a rabbit. That's my favorite. Oh, His little pot out to serve it. Portable, right the, portable model. The port it's, it's got the pot in it. <laughs> that would be good. Good morning. We <laughs> but yeah, we'll do that on top and then yeah. that'll be a, yeah, still be a part of it. Okay. Anyway. Big outside elephant ear right there. Oh. Just gonna cut it off. Oh. See that's torque, no good. That one's alright. like a little. Hey, I'm gonna get right over here. Man. This should be a fight. <laughs> <laughs> no, she old. Hey, see what you that shit, man. You tripping? Yeah. You got me cooking. Oh, you 
Oh, good. Yeah, there you go. Usually you do it on me. Yeah. Uh, not today, but I do. You're to my beard on me. I am, Mike. Alright. Which one do you think you're smelling? That looks nice. <laughs> Making the shells pretty, so we just we just chopped that meat down. We can turn it into some just good old fatty brisket tacos. I'm gonna drizzle them with some peach brandy meat candy. I'm gonna hit them with a little cilantro. Get some green on yawns. I'm gonna let the flavor do the talking. Garnishing them. Put a little leafy. Put a little leafy leaf on there. Some people don't like them. I do. Gives them a good, pretty presentation. It's got that sauce on it and that seasoning.
Hand them off to her. All right, boy, we going for rent. Ooh, I gave him a little too much heat there. They gonna feel that one. They gonna feel that one. It's about a four and a half hour pork belly. I put it on fish, it's good. We put it on chicken, it's good. It, it, like I said, a little goes a long way. I didn't make these cheap, you know what I mean? So they're really, the ingredients are real coarse cut, real powerful ingredients. There you go, big dog, that's what I like. They're only $10 a can, but it's a pretty good deal. They all got top, top shelf ingredients, coarse cut, dehydrated peppers, garlic, stuff like that. People to be able to say, man, I bought that at a festival before it ever even, you know what I mean? What's up, everybody? I got Mr. Mark Lambert here. How many time world champion? Uh, seven time world champion. Seven time world champion. Now, listen here. I don't know a whole lot about barbecue, but I do know something about this liquor right here in this jar. I want you to try this peach brandy right here. There ain't no water in it or nothing like that. It's just straight out the steel to 95 proof. Got some little bitty bubbles in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes it more drinkable. Ooh, I'm a Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I made my mouth sizzle. I'm gonna taste buds tingle. Yeah, I hear that. And warm yeah. my belly all at the same time. <laughs> hey, moonshine from the throat to the gut. Good experience. Before I put this cooking moonshine, or maybe just cook it. Say bare feet in the creek, catching bluegill brim. There's meat you can eat when the money is slim. <laughs>
like Joe Martinez though. Joe Martinez is pretty, man. We got him. But today's deal is about y'all the third place if you're almost best, and that's engraved on this night. <laughs> Alright, it's engraved almost best. Your team's gonna come up here. We're gonna talk about what you cook. You're also gonna take you these ACC crop sticks. You're gonna pick three of them. Third place with a score of 552.8 points. The Frying Squirrel. had an excellent time at the World Championship Squirrel Cook-Off in Springdale, Arkansas. First competition I ever attended. Man, special shout out to Cooking with Cajun and Cooking with Amber Nicole for joining me on the journey. And y'all, we got the results in. We end up coming in ninth place, which ain't too shabby. And just like Joe Wilson says, you got to remember that's ninth in the world. So here's to being the ninth greatest squirrel cook in the world. And we will be back next year, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the little vlog and, and, and like and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I'm going to try to take y'all on some of my journeys, but man, uh, it was fun. And, and if you like cooking, try the competitive stuff because that was a lot of fun. And I'll see you next time.